In the last two episodes, we learned about sepals forming the calyx and petals forming the corolla of a flower. The calyx and corolla together are referred to as the perianth. And you should know that perianth can look very atypical in some flowers. Look at this grevillea. Its perianth is fused and forms a tube, pinning the stigma inside. When we open up the perianth, we see it consists of four fused segments with anthers attached to it. Very unusual. The individual perianth segments can be referred to as tepals, because there are no clearly distinguished sepals and petals. Tepals are more common than you think. Lilies are another great example of flowers with tepals. While the perianth is in fact in two clear whorls, having three sepals and three petals, they all look alike and are visually indistinguishable, and can thus be referred to as tepals. Similarly, you can observe identical-looking sepals and petals in tulips, or even in more complicated flower structures, such as those of orchid flowers. So next time you see the word tepals, no, it's not a typo, but a real botanical phenomenon.